एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू माय आईटी चैनल टुडे आई केम विद एग्जाम इंट्रोस्पेक्शन दैट इज टुडेज एग्जाम 25 मार्च 2023 सो जस्ट आई हैव एन ओवरऑल आइडिया अबाउट एग्जाम सो वी विल हैव द डिस्कशन फर्स्ट वी विल गो टू द राइटिंग टास्क सो दिस राइटिंग टास्क इट वाज अ नोन केस and uh, the letter is directed to a community health nurse but there was a little bit confusion because the address was same but patient stays alone in the home and we are writing the letter to community health nurse so it is a pure unknown case and in this case note we can see that patient's name is mr james mackey and he is 76 years old and he was diagnosed with a gastric um, uh, cancer and was scheduled for the surgery scheduled for the surgery uh, for uh, the date was uh, 26 december 2022 okay and today's date as usual it was 8 january 2023 so in this uh, case note actually the writing task it is write a letter to community health nurse requesting post operative care needs and just explain regarding the present surgical history so this was the writing task and in that uh, we can see that uh, this patient during hospitalization actually post operatively um actually after the surgery actually patient has undergone partial gastrectomy along with gastrostomy pump fixation so they have start they have um, um attached with the gastrostomy pump for feeding so uh, after the surgery su- su- surgery was successful and post operatively uh, actually they have started uh, um, ngt feeding in the initial stages and all they have uh, initiated a feeding with the ng2 feeding and um, gradually they have shifted to gastrostomy so when the esophagus became completely healed then they have started gastrostomy feeding and they have managed conservatively during the hospitalization and uh, they have mentioned that there is no need for the dressings and all uh, because there is a respiratory infection or something like that then gradually uh, today uh, he made uh, recovery i mean uh, progress and ready for discharge um even though he requires um some assistance from the community health nurse especially for the feeding and to and for the review of um, any infections to monitor any infections or the calorie intake and to um, because it's a gastrectomy patient partial has gastrectomy patient so they should uh, may, they should maintain a proper dietary regimen to pro, to avoid some comp- post operative complications related to diet and all even uh, even though um even though with every instruction of course the patient could not uh, take care herself because he is already 76 years old so that's the reason we are writing the letter to the uh, community health nurse and they have given some old history like um, uh, during the december times uh, he was co- confirmed with um, 26 december 2022 um, is the surgery date before that uh, initially he presented to the family doctor with the complaints of indigestion and sudden weight loss uh, then uh, he was advised actually he was advised for the um, gastric uh, gastroscopy plus biopsy and in between he has undergone the ct scan also all these diagnostic evaluations confirmed stomach cancer that's why they have uh, confirmed the surgery so this is the overall idea and regarding the recommendation paragraph they have given some more uh, recommendation like the important thing is for the diet regimen the diet regimen uh, how to be monitored and um, we are requesting the community nurse to provide uh, assistance in gastrostomy pump uh, feeding until his calorie intake is sufficient then the other one is monitor the dietary advice whether he is compliant with the dietary advice or no and if there is any signs of infection uh, and they have uh, remind they have given uh, one review they have fixed one review after one month um, with the dietitian so there is a scheduled appointment for the dietitian for the follow up so this all the content they have given in the case not with this one uh, the letter is very easy actually i will provide a uh, rough outline so the date as usual we will write 8 january 2023 and i don't know whether community nurse's name is given or no anyway if it is there you can write with the uh, community nurse's name and address then uh, we can start uh, with the um, dear doc, uh, dear um, the name if it is given or as dear nurse regarding mr james mackey aged 76 introduction will be i am writing to refer mr james mackey who is recovering from partial gastrectomy he requires ongoing post operative care following his discharge today that's enough okay so i am writing to refer mr james mackey 
who is recovering from or who underwent or who has undergone we can write in all ways partial gastrectomy he requires ongoing postoperative care following his discharge today okay then we will move to the present medical paragraph in present medical paragraph we can just um, expand the letter means we can start with the initial things and all um, you can start like this initially mr james presented to his family doctor with the complaints of indigestion and and in intentional weight loss uh, subsequently he underwent gastroscopy uh, computerized tomography scan as well as biopsy which revealed a gastric cancer coma therefore coma he underwent a surgery on 26 december 2022 successfully so this is a lengthy sentence but we can uh, concise i mean combine every all the things together in this single sentence then uh, along with that you can write in addition uh, coma he was connected with the jejunostomy pump for feeding okay so this much you can write it in the one paragraph of the present medical initially mr james presented sorry not james initially mr macky presented um, presented to his family doctor with the uh, complaints of uh, indigestion and unintentional weight loss subsequently he underwent gastroscopy computerized tomography scan and biopsy which revealed the gastric cancer therefore he underwent the surgery on 26 december 2022 successfully full stop in addition comma he was connected with the uh, jejunostomy pump for feed okay the next paragraph we can write about the hospitalization post operatively mr macky's feeding was managed with a nasogastric tube feeding until healing of esophagus followed by jejunostomy feed so currently he is on jejunostomy feed Uh, or else you can use even uh, postoperatively mr macky's feeding has been managed like that also you can write with the has been also you can write uh, or else was managed with an esophagic tube feeding and has been initiated with the uh, jejunostomy feeding like that also you can write okay then gradually his staples were removed and he attained progress coma even though coma follow up attention from your service is essential for his well be okay so this is the second paragraph i'm not sure about um, is there anything is there during hospitalization i got only this much idea okay so post operatively mr macky's feeding was managed with an esophagic tube feeding until complete healing of esophagus and has been initiated with the jejunostomy jejunostomy feeding thereafter then gradually his staples were removed and he attained a progress even though follow up attention from your service is essential for his well being and regarding the social paragraph i got only little condemn mr mr macky is a divorcee and drinks alcohol 2 to 3 units per day remaining social uh, things and all i'm not sure if i got i will add it in the uh, fair letter okay in the next video then the um, recommendation paragraph is very much important in this case is in this letter it would be appreciated if you could monitor mr macky's dietary regimen and provide assistance in jejunostomy pump feed until his calorie intake is sufficient then please assess his compliance of uh, compliance on dietary advice as well as any signs of infection please note he has a review appointment after one month with dietitian okay so these are all the recommendations it would be appreciated if you could monitor mr macky's dietary regimen and provide assistance in jejunostomy pump feeding until his calorie intake is sufficient the next point is uh, please assess his compliance on dietary advice as well as any signs of infection the last one related to the review please note he has a review appointment after one month with the dietitian then the conclusion thing will be if you need any um, further inquiries please don't hesitate to contact with me then if the name is given and yours sincerely if the name is not given yours faithfully um they stir us so that's only the thing related to the writing so i hope it is clear and in the next uh, video i will just post the um, fair letter okay and then regarding the speaking actually i got six topics um um something related to community health center there was a mother and baby uh, and uh, and the content i am not sure detailedly but there is in house emergency department also there was one baby and uh, mother with a burn baby came with the burns and its management and advice and everything another one um, speaking card was in hospital ward with the overdose of drug so we had one card same like this with the overdose of drug 
it is in the emergency department i think same more or less same thing so they we believe we have to ask about the drug name and how many uh, tablet they took and any symptoms they are experiencing now what is their general condition if they have any old history or something like that we can ask and we will uh, try as the patient and uh, we will arrange the doctors um, uh, assessment of course it will be a clinical observation okay and another one is in emergency department uh, one patient female patient 35 years old patient came following a fall and uh, she's complaining pain in arms she want to see the doctor immediately so in that case and out we are asking uh, the patient's detail where is the pain and what is the score uh, on set and what is the exact incident and um, if she has any past med medical i mean present medical history or any surgical history if she is on any is she on any uh, medication so these all histories and it will come and another one is in the hospital ward one patient got admitted um, after the side effect with the chemotherapy so after initiation of chemotherapy she he or she got um, some side effects and now that mission it is for uh, immunotherapy or any alternative therapy so actually in this scenario we are going to do the clinical observation for clinical observation we are just asking the patient's condition how he or she is doing and we will explain regarding the uh, continuation of chemotherapy same like this one card also we have we used to practice in the uh, earliest there is an earlier earliest card in my uh, telegram group if you search you can find out or else in the playlist also you can search under the uh, role play or it role play okay and another one is the procedure that is ecg the same card also we had it in the our telegram group and of course it will be related to the action we'll ask about the current situation we will explain regarding the action of the ecg and the procedure and what are the precautions we have to do and regarding the reports everything so this all the content i got it from students and um, more or less same it's, it's like a same model type of questions but we used to practice okay and regarding uh, reading actually in european country there was um, in uh, reading uh, they got even writing also they got different question paper and even reading and listening also they got different question paper and in european countries the reading part a was gall bladder stone so they have given uh, like definition types diagnosis surgical management acidosis treatment and complications and it was pretty easy and um, in india and bahrain kuwait in middle east and all there was reading was regarding cardiac condition pericarditis okay acute pericarditis it was different anyway it was a condition so it was easy i hope and regarding the listening module uh listening model in uh, european countries it was uh, ophthalmology in the a part it was ophthalmology and another one is for orthopedic and um, and in india um, i'm not sure about these things and all i hope the same thing only anyway everybody's uh, opinion is that writing was easy and speaking was also easy reading a part and listening a part was easy but b and c part of listening and reading was somewhat tough as usual it is quite normal in every question paper we can see that listening part a and b reading part a uh, sorry listening and reading part b and c will be somewhat tough but a part will be somewhat that is uh, good so this is the uh, overall idea of um, our today's um, later and i just uh, want to explain uh, another one more thing with you regarding the writing task in european countries in new zealand and all the writing task was different so i will just give you the overall idea actually this one uh, was non case but it is nursing home the address of patient address and um, uh, readers address was same and as usual the day date is 8 january 2023 and this patient uh, is 85 years old female patient um actually since 2017 uh, she is residing in the same nursing home and recently she got fall she have she had a fall and got ad admitted in the hospital she has undergone x ray which revealed a fracture in the left wrist okay and um, after subsequently uh, surgical alignment uh, has done and uh, with the cast application so with the surgery then cast also applied and uh, post operatively she was managed with an rg6 that is conservative management and during hospitalization she was found to have decreased urinary output so she was educated regarding the risk of urinary tract infection and the need of increasing uh, increasing oral intake okay so that is the thing as well as we educated regarding the mobility and exercises also because the problem in hand so we have explained regarding the hand exercises and the 
um, hand exercises and finger exercises also then um, actually she because of fall she had uh, lowered mobility so there is a problem with um, going to toilets and all so that that all the thing that that is a current situation her, her current situation then um, and the writing task is ongoing uh, we have to write about ongoing needs and the monitoring briefly explained regarding the hospitalization so in the recommendation paragraph for social paragraph in the recommendation paragraph uh, we have to write that it would be appreciated if we could monitor um, this per person's patient's pain mainly the monitor the pain and sensation of hands okay so that is an important thing and another one more thing encourage uh, encourage her for mobility and to perform hand exercises as well as finger exercises then another one more thing uh, kindly assess her for toileting if she required to move because because of all she has decreased mobility so if she required we need to they need to give uh, assistance the last point is uh, she has a follow-up after two weeks okay so these are the content of that letter mm, it's a non-case but nursing home non-case okay they used to give the same address with that we can find out so i hope everything i have covered Anyway, in uh, next videos, uh, these two letters, um, I will try to prepare a, a fair letter. So it will be easy for you. But question paper will not be there. You have to refer in this uh, introspections only. Then you will get an idea. Then we can see the letter. So I hope everything is clear. And those who are uh, going to write exam, um, so just go through this old type of questions and all. If you see in YouTube, you can see many introspections in 2022-23. Just go through uh, with everything. Then you will have an idea how the pattern of question papers, especially in 2023. If you follow many question uh, introspections, exam introspection, you will get an idea. Because last two uh, exams were non case for family doctor and this time also this time it came like a non case but in some uh, countries it was again non case but with the nursing home so it is like uh, it's coming like uh, alternatively with the doctor and nurse only only doctor and nurses no other uh, non medical but we can expect even non medical also but uh, please try to see the old question papers and the way of writing so that you can refer my telegram group or you can go to my playlist youtube playlist and you can see old exam questions uh, or exam introspection okay so that you will get an idea how was the exam how was the um, writing task and the fair notes and only how to refer the fair letter also then only you will get an idea how to write the current letters and all okay so we will see with another one informative video then bye take care